Well, I've been thinking for a couple of years about buying a cargo bike. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about a three-wheel model, something that's big enough to carry home all the family shopping from the supermarket. And as the dogs get a bit older, something that's large enough to stick the dogs in the bike and take them to the park or, or to a more distant park. But of course, you know, that's not the only reason. Uh, we've got all the councils in the inner west have got these strategies where they want to reduce car usage. And, uh, you know, they're now uh, doing development approvals for apartment blocks where they've got very limited parking. If you buy an apartment with just uh, one bedroom, you won't have a car space. So how are those people supposed to get around? You know, if they've got to take the kids to daycare or they've got to uh, go to the shops and come back with more than two bags of shopping, how do they do that? And, you know, one substitute we've seen a lot from Europe is the cargo bike, and in particular these days the e-cargo bike. And of course, look, these things are not expensive. Not expensive? No, they're very expensive. But they're cheaper than a small car, and they take up less room, and... You know, if you're into worrying about this kind of stuff, they put out much less CO2 when they don't take as much space when they need to be parked and they're quiet and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But I was crossing this bridge over Parramatta Road the other day and there was one of these cargo bikes coming the other way and I had to stop and the other bloke had to stop and we kind of ummed and art about, uh, you know, who would go and, you know, he waved me forward and I went around him and it was quite a tight squeeze and I think, this guy's trying to do the right thing. Um, you know, not using a car, using an environmentally friendly means of transport, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Yet, um, state governments and councils have not provided the infrastructure to actually enable this because we can't ride these things on Parramatta Road. You know, that's just silly. We've got to have appropriate paths where we can use them so we can get to the shops and we can get to daycare and we can get to schools and whatever else we want to use these things for. Uh, so, yeah, main, maybe, uh, you know, councils really need to think a lot more about, um, you know, these bike paths are not just for leisure, they're actually for, you know, active transport and all that kind of stuff. Um, because a lot of them at the moment, well, these paths are just dogs. <laughs>